Hi, Deep Live Code users. Welcome to our latest tutorial on guiding you through the documentation. We're starting off at www.deeplivecut.org. Here you can find most of the information about not only the code, how to install it, where to get started, user guides, and papers. For example, if you click on Getting Started, it takes you to our GitHub repo where you can see the overview of the documentation. This is generally broken into four parts, video tutorials, how-to guides, explanations, and references. All right, let's jump back to the main repo. Here, you can find the installation guide, for example, which takes you to a subpage talking to you about how you have to have Python installed, we prefer Anaconda, and also then easy installs for Mac, Windows, and Ubuntu. Now, if we click on the link, we can see two options. One is going actually back to the main website, where at the very bottom, you'll find two buttons that allow you to download the specific Anaconda environmental files for DLC CPU or DLC GPU use. Today, we're focusing on navigating the documentation. So let's look at other options, namely the demo code. For example, here you can find documentation about how to run DeepLabCut on the demo data that we provide, setting up DeepLabCut on your own data, and running DeepLabCut on Colab. This is a great option to actually get started because it allows you to have a no install test of DLC. All right, now that you've played with Colab, let's jump back to the main repo to find out where else you can get help. For example, on the main page, we have a section on community support information for developers, and links to the forums. For example, here's a link to Image Farm where you can post questions to get input from other users, and the developers are also quite active. For example, MMW Mathis. Once again, jumping back, I want to highlight the wiki. It's a little bit buried to find, but it actually has really important information. Frequently asked questions, troubleshooting tips, how to pick neural networks, how to write methods sections, how to use code directly from GitHub, how to add in data that was labeled elsewhere, for example. There's a lot of great information here that's updated quite often. All right, but now let's jump back into the documentation. Here, what you'll find, especially in the how-to guides link, is you'll find a superficial level of all the different functions that are called in Deep Lab Code. Well, maybe not all, but the major ones. Here, if you actually click on a function, you'll see where it's used in the code base. But importantly, if you click on more details, it'll take you to a secondary page that has even more explanatory power about each individual call. Here's another example. So if you navigate to train the network, you can click on more details here, and this will take you to another page, which actually has expanded information about this function, how it works, critical points you as a user should be aware of, and different parameters that you can pass. Also, again, you can still click on the code and see where it's used if you want to dig into it, but it also gives you a link to the doc string. This is what a copy of the doc string looks like. This is also accessible to you in IPython, Python W, or in Jupyter Notebooks if you just put a question mark after the call. But here it's just to give you a reference. If you want to quickly look this up on the wiki, this is also here, and then of course linked under this area where I showed you, under doc strings. And you can always navigate back out of this to any level of the code. Thanks for watching. We hope this was helpful and happy deep lab cutting.